sorry just coming back again um so to know about what you're calling about um, uh, organic chemistry um uh, of which it's not just the study of uh, of organic uh, of uh, of carbon and, uh, and its element you may need to look at something which you call um uh, uh, this one which you're calling what um oxidation and reduction in which you're going to say like uh, like in oxidation and, uh, and reduction uh, whereby it's going to be um okay the elements remain the same but you're going to do what you are adding or removing electrons for example uh if you're talking about reduction you're talking about uh uh doing what adding electrons to which now the for example if if you had something like uh, like ion 2 and then you are you're changing it to, to ion solid you're going to add uh, two electrons to change it uh, to bring it up to to ion solid in that case you're going to say you are, you're reducing it to, to ion solid or if you had something like like ion and then you're forming ion 2 or ion 3 you're removing electrons so that it's going to become uh, ion 2 plus or ion 3 plus so in this case the structure remains the same you're talking about uh, the element is the same but you're doing something to the to the structure so in talking about organic chemistry what you're actually doing is um, uh, uh, you've got something which you're going to call uh, hydrocarbon uh, a compound which contains carbon and hydrogen and then through oxidation and reduction you're going to change the structure of of the hydrocarbon so you're going to to define uh, <coughs> organic chemistry as the as the study of hydrocarbon and their uh, uh, and the compounds in which the uh, the hydrocarbons they, they form so in this case if you're talking about hydrocarbons uh, it may sound like a, like a what like a crazy word but but something like uh, petrol, uh, petrol and, and probably diesel. These are examples of, of hydrocarbons. So you're going to see that uh, these are compounds that contain uh, an element called carbon and then hydrogen. So, so this uh, type of compounds, you can be able to do oxidation and reduction to them. Yeah? So this is the definition you're going to call for, uh, for organic chemistry. Now, um, let's get back to the, to the course, yeah? Um, sorry, I had a small uh, 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 cough, and I uh, think um, there was that, that small bit. But, but let's come to the to the course, and I think um, uh, in your email you're going to see the um, the course outline. In this case, we'll be talking about the application of chemistry to to engineering. Um, maybe in the first semester you may have seen chemistry one being a bit abstract yeah maybe atoms uh, ions and the rest but here you're going to see something in which the uh, something which you can relate to for example you'll be looking at the the science behind something you're going to be calling polymers yeah? polymers are are all around here yeah? like um, uh, including the yeah the polythenes for example which were burnt and uh, uh, things like what polyester and the rest and you will be lo looking more about uh, the chemistry behind the uh, these things you're going to be calling polymers now uh, for those of you who are studying uh, biosystems uh, you'll be seeing that uh, the study of amino acid proteins and carbohydrates is something which you're going to be dealing with probably for the rest of your career as a as a bio, uh, as an environmental and biosystems engineer uh, so we'll be looking at the chemistry of uh, of the cells and the and the battery you know a battery is a is a combination of cells yeah so we'll be looking at uh, electrochemistry fuels uh, we're going to come up with a uh, more general uh, definition as opposed to a fuel uh, being something which just burns and then it uh, it releases energy you're going to see that um that there's a more broader definition of uh, fuels that may take into consideration uh, things such as what such as the 
nuclear fuels yeah in which they are not just burning but they are just being changed in their structure but they are releasing energy yeah? fertilizers uh, uh, soaps and detergents uh, hard and soft water hard and soft water I'm going to come up with a with a good definition as opposed to saying um, that uh, this being something which is uh, solid which you can touch and whatever and soft water just as okay I think you can get a definition as dealing with something like uh, for computer a hardware and and software it's not being something which you can say you can touch and the, and the software which which you cannot touch in this case you're going to get uh, uh, both being water but you're going to see the basic uh, definition as uh, as to what you're, going to be, what you're going to be calling uh, hard and software but just in general before you come to that one hard water is one which contains uh, minerals uh, and it may be good for uh, for taking because the minerals you uh, the body needs it and then the software is, is the one in which can be said to be like uh, like the distilled or, or the ionized water so you're going to see the advantages and disadvantages of it and then lastly, we we'll, we'll look at uh, uh, something on uh, uh, aerobic means uh, there is a digestion which requires air, and then and then you're going to be focusing on something which you're calling anaerobic digestion. And, and what is this thing to, going to be calling anaerobic digestion? Is is the one in which is called uh, known as the uh, biogas production, in which you're going to be producing a gas which can burn from from waste. Yeah. But to really understand this chemistry, you need to, to learn something which are going to be calling the building blocks, yeah? Yeah? Building blocks of, of these compounds. And this is to learn about something which are going to be calling functional groups. Uh, functional groups, for example, to really know about amino acids and protein and the rest, you need to learn about uh, something to going to call uh, ketones, aldehydes, and, and alcohols and the rest. So um, uh, this course for chemistry two or uh, organic chemistry is going to be split into uh, uh, the first section, which is dealing with the significance of which we'll be dealing with these uh, building blocks uh, of the organic molecules, and then in part two is the one of we'll be looking at applied chemistry, in which you'll be talking about chemistry as as it applies to to engineering. Oh. Okay. I hope I'm not talking too fast and you're really following up, yeah. Um I'm going to get my, my email and the class reps have got my, my mobile number in case of uh, uh any clarification that needs to be done. But I think um uh, this mode of communication is much better than than being in the in the lecture theater in which uh you're in a big lecture theater like in the like in the tower in which uh, everybody's having masks you cannot see the 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 face of the expressions of the lecturer and the rest uh, so each one has got its advantages and disadvantages but in this case you're going to see that if there will be illustrations for example whereby i'll be showing you something like the structure of the molecules by something like this one it will be very easy to zoom in on a on a video and you're going to see everything the way it will be very hard in a in a lecture theater you are studying you mean you're sitting at the back and you cannot be able to see the lecture very well so i think in this mode of the teaching you're really going to uh, to, uh, to appreciate so um uh, so we're going to take uh, another uh small break and then i'll uh, i'll be able to illustrate something about uh, some aspect of this course that you're going to take here. Yeah? All right, so we're just going to have a, a short break. Thank you.